What I'm going to do with this tutorial is show you the lighting setup and then how it was edited in Luminar to get the final result. This is the image you'll have seen from the studio setup. This is just a quick image just to test the lighting, but I'm going to use this one as a demonstration for Luminar editing a portrait. So as I use it as a plugin, the first thing I'm going to do is copy up the layer. I'm then going to get into my filter software and I'm going to go Luminar. The first few things that I'm going to do is just tweak the image ever so slightly before I start the editing. So the first thing I'm going to do is deal with the skin. I'm going to make the skin slightly softer. So what I'll do is, just so that you can see it happening, there's too soft. I'm going to take it just back ever so slightly to around there. In here with Luminar, you have the layer masks. I'm going to invert the mask. Minus seven is what I want. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint in the areas using the brush soften the skin ever so slightly I'm just going to paint over that I'm going to be quite liberal with this again just for the purpose of this demonstration when you're doing it go in and take your time be careful not to get into the eyes the nostrils or go over the mouth we'll check the mask and what we've actually painted in a second how to do that it's got to mask and you can see exactly where I've painted just going to take it in there a wee bit. I'm going to take it down. I'm going to soften just above the eyes slightly. Just in there. And for me, that'll do just now. Turn off the mask. Turn off the brush. So that's me painted in the skin. I'll zoom in so that you can see this even better. And if I drag the slider see the skin softening but that's when it becomes unrealistic so I'm going to take it back to about minus seven. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to drop the red in this dress. I'm just going to take it back ever so slightly so I'm going to drop the saturation in the red, take it back to around there that way we've got a nice balance here. I also dropped it there as well. I'm also going to pull back the yellow just about there. we're getting there very very quickly so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new adjustment layer in this new adjustment layer I am going to adjust just the eyes for this I'm going to use sharpening and again I'm going to work in reverse if I zoom into the eye and I adjust the sharpening you can see where it goes too much take it back I'll just take it into so that you can just see a subtle difference Again, invert the mask. Eye goes back to what it was. You shouldn't see much of a difference here. Take the brush. We're now going to paint in just on the eyes themselves, just to sharpen them up. Move to the other eye. Eyebrows. And you could decrease the brush size when you're doing this. Just sharpen the lips. I'm now going to zoom out. I'm going to just sharpen the hair, just like that, and just to bring out the pattern here, sharpen there. So if you want to see what you've actually painted, that's what you've actually painted by choosing the mask button. If I want to take this back, just cut the erase, and I can paint it back out. The next thing I want to do is add a new layer because I'm going to work in the layers individually. This next layer I'm going to add structure to the hair and just down here just to emphasise them. Choose the structure, push the slider. If I take it too far you see what happens. So you're pushing the slider just for subtle differences at about 10, 9, 10 is where I'm looking to be at. I'm going to choose the brush and I'm going to paint in the areas that I want the structure to be applied to. Zoom in down here. Just 
just to add the tiniest bit of structure in here. And there, just as we can see the difference when you zoom back out. Next layer, I'm going to add a soft glow to the skin. But you'll notice there, the brush is still active on the structure layer. I've now turned it back off. You've got to remember to turn that off. Adjustment layer three, I am going to add a slight soft glow to the image itself, working again in the same premise. There's a soft glow. This should be barely noticeable for a portrait. That I'm actually quite happy with, so I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm going to create a new layer, and this time I am going to soften the skin even more. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull back the structure. I could get back down to the first layer and do it there, but I want to do it so that if I don't like this, not jumping back through, so I'm going to pull the structure of the skin back. Minus 12 might just be too much, let's go for about minus 7 again. So, and overall, that would be minus 14. But because we're applying it to different layers, I've got the option of deleting this if I don't like it once it's done. Again, working on the same premise, invert the mask, it doesn't affect the eyes, the hair, or the dress. Take the brush and paint in the areas that I want to affect. I'm not zooming in to do this, I'm doing it relatively quickly just for the purpose of this tutorial, as I've said, but hopefully you'll get the idea from this. Turn it off, you shouldn't see much of a difference, so I'm just hiding the layer there shouldn't see much of a difference at all, but in the layer mask you can see where I've actually painted. So I'm going to turn off the brush. Okay, we're nearing the end of this, I'm going to create a new layer. Now I'm going to pull back the saturation of the image, just to a point where I'm quite happy with it. And I am about there. For me that looks slightly more natural. One more layer. As before, my vignette. This time I'm going to close that down. And what I'm going to do is bring the vignette in. Just around here, just to draw us into the image. Just to show you the before and after. Before, after, before, After and you can see the difference that that has made in a relatively short time. There it is there, before, after, before, after. Quick apply. So that is a relatively quick edit of a straightforward portrait shoot in Luminar. If you've enjoyed this quick tutorial and would like to see more, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit subscribe. Big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and thanks for watching.